Hi everyone. So today again we will see the interview questions discussion, and I have already uploaded few of the videos uh, over the interview question discussion related to the MM modules. So uh, this will be the next part of it, and let's uh, start with the discussion. So before the starting of the discussion, I would like to say you that uh, I will give the link uh, to the previous video which I have uploaded. over the interview questions discussion in the link so basically we'll check it out uh, for the procurement processes and uh, few of the questions that we will discuss and uh, remaining part i will upload the uh, videos on the later sections also so let's check it out so first question is what are the procurement cycle that means what are the uh, process that is involved in the procurement cycle or as also we can say it what is p2p cycle so as we know that uh, mil, it mainly contains the five steps in which first is to get the purchase requisition to create the purchase requisition it means nothing but the collection of the requirement from our internal team or uh, through the team which uh, they need the material after that we used to do the vendor selection process see Uh, the vendor selection process is uh, it is optional when we used to purchase the material for the first time then it is completely the business call whether they wanted to get the quotation from few vendors or they have uh, specified the vendors so that they can directly proceed to the purchase order so it totally the business call but the uh, standard process it used to say that whenever we do have a requirement of a specific material or the new requirement uh which is not procured previously or if it is procured previously also we can ask for the uh, quotation to the vendor so for that process vendor selection process we used to ask uh the quotation from the vendor then what we used to do after getting the quotation we used to maintain the quotation in the sap system and then we used to compare the quotation from the sap system and we used to finalize the quotation from the sap system after that what we used to do after that we used to create the purchase order so that we can uh, read, uh, get the material from the vendor so we used to uh, give the purchase order to the vendor and then based on that purchase order we used to do the good receipt on which date the vendor has sent the vendor used to send the material after that the next step would be the invoice verification that means the, if the vendor has sent the material definitely he need the money up, uh, for that uh, material also so we used to pay the Uh, we used to get the invoice uh, and then we used to make the payment after uh, verification of all the things that means the uh, quantity of the po or the uh, the whatever the quantity we have received at the time of our grn then uh, how much invoice uh, how much quantity the invoice has been generated so based on the all parameters we used to uh, uh, you know uh, checking the invoice and then we used to post it now And what would be the next question? Let's check it out. So, what are the special procurement type? So, what are the type of special procurement? To procurement. So, basically, it is four types: that the subcontracting, and the consignment, and the STO process, and the pipeline procurement. I would like to correct it. Uh, STO also, as well as we can say uh, something to a standard process also. always all you can check it out in the when you used to create uh, the info record this having four specific uh, four uh, procurement type would be you can check it out over there that the standard and the subcontract and consignment and the pipeline that you can check it out over here now the next question is what is the standard document type for the purchase order that means what are the standard document type that sap has given to us to create the purchase order so basically uh, this having several uh, document type sap has introduced to us uh, for the nb nb is standard po ub for sto po and fo for the framework so these are the some uh, document type which sap has given to us uh, in the standard manner uh, based on that document type only we used to create uh, the document type as per our own convenience or as per the business requirement now what are the parameters which is controlled by the document type in po so basically there are few parameters like item category 
नंबर रेंज एंड फील्ड सिलेक्शन की दीज आर द्री पैरामीटर्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द आइटम कैटेगरी यूज फॉर सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग प्रोक्योरमेंट कंसाइनमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट सर्विस प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड एस टी ओ प्रोक्योरमेंट सी वेन एवर वी यूज टू क्रिएट द परचेज ऑर्डर ऑन द लाइन आइटम लेवल वी डू हैव ऑप्शन ऑफ अकाउंट असाइनमेंट कैटेगरी एज वेल एज आइटम कैटेगरी ऑप्शन सो आइटम कैटेगरी इज मैंडेटरी to identify whether that which kind of procurement process it is suppose if i have uh, left it blank it means it's a standard but whenever it is a special procurement we have to give some notation so that system can identify that what kind of or the business can identify or the user can identify that what kind of procurement process is it, it is so for that sake uh if uh, anyone used to know please pause the video and comment me in the comment box so that i can check it out and uh, uh but uh, let's check it out what is the answer for the subcontracting we do have the item category type is l and the for k is for sub uh, consignment d is for service procurement and u for sto procurement that we used to uh, mention on the line item level now what is the difference in the subcontracting uh, procurement after gst see before gst also we do have a subcontracting procurement but they having the process is similar just only one difference has been generated after the uh, after the, the gst has been introduced so the difference is what the chala that means after the implementation of the uh, subcontracting process it is mandatory to create the subcon chalan so that you can send the material to the vendor Uh, and the uh, t code is given id and given uh, id sub con the t code it is more mandatory you can check it out and whenever you will create the given id sub con that means the chalan on the basis of what on the basis of material document so which you have issued the material to the vendor so now what are the accounting entries for the movement type 541 first of all i would like to ask you why we used to the 541 If you know the answer, please pause the video and comment me in the comment box so that I can check it out. Now let me uh, let me explain you why we used to do the 541. Whenever we do have a requirement of the subcontracting process, means we used to send the material to the vendor as a raw material to the vendor, and we used to get the get the finished product from the vendor. So we used to send the material as uh, the raw material to the vendor through which movement type to 541. what we used to do in the 541 the transfer posting that means from our own stock to vendor stock that we used to transfer the material and what are the movement type it used 541 movement type that time we use so on the basis of what are the document type has been generated over here in the 541 the same document type we used to as uh, we used to use at the time of create of subcontracting chalan by using the subcon and the most important thing is there is no accounting document used to generate at the time of 541 so let's check it out the next questions what is the next question now what are the table for subcon chalan so uh, if anyone used to know uh, it is most important field or it is a most important question that we should know that which table the subcontracting chalan detail used to save see basically the table used to table are used for what table are used for store the data or transaction data or the master data so basically uh, when we used to create the chalan we can find it out through the uh, table also that the detail of that subcon chalan used to save in that particular table now next what is the meaning of sort close of pu so any one of you do you know about sort close po means what if you know please pause the video and comment me in the comment box that would be a great for me so that i can understand you are guys are you guys are following my videos or you guys are uh, you know uh, following the learnings and you are keep learning that would be that would be a great help for you as well as for me also so basically the meaning of sort sort close po means whenever we used to create the purchase order to the vendor let's suppose i have created a purchase order to the vendor with the 100 quantity right 
after that 100 quantity vendor used to send me like 80 quantity okay so i have received the 80 quantity but i think i don't need i don't need uh, longer uh, need that material uh, the remaining quantity of the 20 quantity i don't need that so what i in that uh, in that time what i will do we do have a, we'll do what we will do we'll close the po how how we'll close the po that comes under the sort close po and later on i will let you know how we close the po so i hope you understand the meaning of sort close po let me once again explain you if we if we used to create the purchase order to the vendor with the certain quantity or the uh, certain or the let's suppose 100 quantity and based on that 100 quantity we have received only 80 quantity but there is having a remaining of 20 quantity but in our business we don't need that uh, uh, remaining quantity uh, we wanted to close the PO that comes under the short close of PO right now what is the process to close the short close the PO so at the line item level in the delivery tab we do have an option of delivery completion so what we will do we will just check uh, click on that checkbox where uh, that delivery has been completed that means the system will allow you to close the PO after that so I hope uh, you have understood whatever the questions I have tried to explain you and based on that level you will have to think because whenever you will face the interview interviewer will ask you the um, the very basic questions that means the completely related to the business process only and based on the complete screen that have you seen the screen or not or how much uh, you know knowledge you do have of the uh, business process so i hope uh, you have learned something uh, from today's video and if you wanted to if you want the more videos on the interview questions or discussion please comment me in the comment box or please like the video so that i can understand yeah definitely uh, some guys are liking my videos and they uh, i need to create some more videos so that they can understand a lot more processes so i hope so you like the video thank you if you like the video please click on the like button and please do share uh, share these videos with your friends who are learning the sap and uh, please subscribe my channel uh, thank you thanks for today